Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let me begin by expressing my condolences to all of you for losing our mentor and our teacher, someone who touched all of our lives. And I extend my condolences to the family of Ahmad Ansari, uh, his three children, his beautiful children, his wife, and all the relatives. Our hearts are with you. Uh, we are all sad. I have not seen the community touched in such ways in, in a very long time. When you see people of every stripe, these people young and old, sisters and brothers, uh, people from every background who were touched by him and impacted by him, that says a lot. When you see a, an individual past who has that kind of impact, I always like to think about and reflect and measure their lives against the prophetic teaching of the Prophet ﷺ who said in the hadith that's in the Sahih of Imam Muslim. The Prophet said, إِذَا مَاتَ الْإِنسَانُ إِنْ قَطَعْ عَنْهُ عَمَلُهُ When a human being dies, his deeds come to an end. إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثَةٍ Except for three things. إِلَّا مِنْ صَدَقَةٍ جَارِيَةٍ From a continuous charity. إِلَّا مِنْ عِلْمٍ يُنْتَفَعُ بِهِ Or through knowledge that continues to benefit. أَوْ مِنْ وَلَدٍ صَالِحٍ يَدْعُ اللَّهِ Or through children that continue to pray for that person. I believe in Ahmad and Saudi we have, you know, all three manifestations in a very profound way. All of us are writing a book. We're all authors of a book of deeds. And the Prophet, when he spoke about human life, he often spoke about a book. We are writing a book. The book is open. The pages continue to turn every day. When each and every one of us die, our book closes and our deeds come to an end. There are some people, they have a very big book. There are some people, their book is very small. There are some people, their book is very boring. Some, some people, their book is exciting. Some people are embarrassed to read the book. Some people will be so happy and overjoyed to read their book. And there are some people who are so blessed by Allah, when they pass, Allah chooses to keep their book open so that the pages keep getting written. And these are three avenues that continue to benefit a person. It's very, from the mercy of Allah, it's very inspiring to know that there's a way for us to continue adding to our deeds. Ahmad Ansari, if you look at the first avenue, Sadaqat Jariya. Sadaqat Jariya is a continuous charity. This has to do with institutions. When you give something to one person, that's just sadaqa. It goes away. That person benefits. Sadaqatun jariyatun implies an institution. An institution that continues to survive beyond the death of a human being. Ahmad Ansari was a man of institutions. When we know he came from the west coast to the east coast. He was a principal of an Islamic school in the west coast of California. And he became a principal here. And while he was here, he was involved in so many institutions. He helped build up this beautiful school, a Noor Academy, which all my three children went and graduated from that school. Um, or all of them started, two of them graduated, and one of them went to a different school. But all of them were touched by Ahmed Ansari. He was a man who was part of institution building. This school owes a lot to Ahmed Ansari. When he was here, he took it from one level to another level. And I don't think he ever saw the new building but everything that happens in the school for the rest of our lives, it partly the reward goes to Ahmad Ansari. That is incredible. Not only Noor Academy was part of MCMC, he was going to all various massages around the, the, the state, around the region. He was part of Ikna, New Jersey. He was an integral part of many, many organizations in the area, institutions. And he was very proud to serve all the Muslims. Um, he was so incredible, that, that kind of legacy, we only hope and we pray that his deeds continue to be expanded through all the work that he did. The second thing, ilmin yuntafar bihi. The second door that continues to add to your deeds is knowledge that continues to benefit you. Ahmad Ansari, if you could describe him with one word, he was an educator, a mu'allim. He used to share with us very proudly this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi to I heard, him, I heard him share that with us on many occasions. He was an educator. 
the way he spoke to people, uh, whether it's in a khutbah or a khatira, whether it's a five minute address, whether it's talking to youth in the hallway in the school, whether it's speaking in a conference in front of thousands of people, he was an educator par excellence. He knew how to bring the wisdom of the Quran and the Sunnah to people in an amazing way. So that's something that knowledge that he left, we believe, is continuing to expand his book, inshallah. And finally, waladin salihin yadrullah, children that continue to pray for him or her. We know he came at a, a time where many of us, Ijabai, myself included, our children were very young. And they came to age under his mentorship and his guidance. He was their teacher. And his own children were very young as well. And they became teenagers in this community. And they blossomed in this community. And I, I can say without exaggeration, they're probably the best of the youth of our generation. Some of the best children that we have seen that blossomed into what they blossomed into are Abdullah Ansari, Fudayf Ansari, and Juwaini Ansari. All of us as parents were so jealous when we see how he raised children like that, that sh showcases our own failures as parents. So those are wonderful children that will continue to benefit him and all the children of the school. The school he raised literally several generations of kids. All of them are kind of in metaphorical children and they will continue to pray for him. That kind of reach, that kind of legacy is incredible. He had a knack of communicating, connecting with different communities. I remember once he, he used to call me a lot. He used to confide in me and I'm embarrassed to say I didn't often pick up his phone. But he would often call and just to talk about things. One of the things he used to say when he visited ISCJ Sheikh, uh, Imam Shibli's masjid, he said, Imam Shibli, whenever he introduces me, he introduces me as a doctor, Dr. Ahmed Ansari. And I said, I clarified to him that I, I don't have a PhD, I'm not a doctor. And Imam Shibli said in front of the entire masjid on more than one occasion, you are our doctor. So Imam Ahmad Ansari was our teacher, he was our doctor. He was so many things to all of us. He's such an inspiring legacy. And he will be sorely missed and we express our condolences to his children, to the entire community. And we will continue to remember him for the rest of our lives. Hada wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum. Abdullah, can you hear us? Wa alaikum assalam. So yes, can you hear me? Yes, we can, loud and clear. We're here at MCMC. Uh, first of all, we would like, everybody here would like to express their sincere condolences and, du and duas for uh, Brother Ansari. We have uh, uh, Imam Shibli here, Imam Ahmad, Qari Zahid, Qari Rifaqat is here, Dr. Abu Zaid is here, Imam Jawad is here. Imam Abdullah and uh, Imam Rauf addressed us virtually. Qari Basit from Pakistan addressed us. Everybody made dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can't express what a, how, uh, uh, Abdu, uh, how Ansari Sahib impacted all of us in such a positive and lasting way. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless him, to forgive him, to accept him in the highest uh, maqam and to give you and everyone uh, istiqama. If you could please, and there's a special request from Imam Shibli, if you can just give us a little bit more details on, on the janazah and how it went, and then I'll, uh, the, the floor is yours. <laughs> well wishes and the condolences and we ask Allah Ta'ala to accept all the du'as and the support that have been given for my father um, as I, I just want to say first of all that even though he was in physically New Jersey, mashallah, New Jersey always remained in his heart and uh, a lot of his work that he did and a lot of the khidmah that he wished to provide was done there and there was a lot of love and connection that he felt from the people that were there obviously since he came to chicago um you know since it was because of his illness that he was suffering through he wasn't able to engage with the communities as much as he did in his almost more than a decade in new jersey so first of all to the imam's request alhamdulillah the the, the janaza and the burial went very well alhamdulillah and there was a lot of signs of um, acceptance uh, right after the janazah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it raining 
and we hope that there's a sign of rahmah that was coming down. Uh, the one thing that I could share with everyone here that uh, I found to be personally impactful, and a lot of my teachers in the Mashaykh here have said that it could be a sign of acceptance, is that the final words that my father spoke, um, and I hope that this can be, inshallah, a source of comfort and solace for all those who are here. The final words that my father spoke was that today I'm going to drink a lot of water. Today I'm going to drink a lot of water. And after which, he did not have to speak to anyone ever again. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called him back to him. And so we pray that this was a glad tidings of sort that he may be of those who drink from the hand of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He left this world in a very happy state and in no pain. And we pray that all of the, the difficulty that he passed through in the last couple of years, uh, both physical, uh, mental, he was a source of kafara and expiation for his sins that he could have met Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala free of any of his mistakes that he had made in this world. But alhamdulillah, we were able to at least welcome today at the Janazah some of the New Jersey community members, in particular, um, Brother Fazi, who is Brother Rahad's father, uh, and Brother Jawad Karim's father as well, Brother Karim, and also our beloved Sheikh Wad al Qasas, who was with us through the Janazah and through the burial process as well, along with many, many people of knowledge and people of Dikr and pious people of the Chicagoland community came out to witness the Janazah. Uh, you know, I'm sure uh, everyone has similar things to say about my father, that he was a man who was loved by the people and he loved people and, and spoke through his sincerity. And we hope that myself and, and my siblings and all those who are here can be an embodiment of that and we pray that all that we are able to do moving forward serve as a source of comfort and uh, continuous charity for my father and although we are deeply grieved and saddened by his departure we know that and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala welcomes him uh, into a better place the way my father would welcome people and, and greet them with open arms and, and smiling faces may he be greeted uh, in, in a better manner, uh, in better places, with better company of the uh, Jazakumullah khair. I wish I could stay for longer, but we are also attending individuals here, but I wanted to just share on behalf of myself, my siblings, and my mother, that uh, the fact that the M60 community has gathered to remember my father is extremely heartwarming, and the support uh, is, it is very beautiful to us, and it brings comfort and sukun to our hearts in this moment of Difficulty, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept this gathering from you all.